I talk, you listen. Welcome to my one-man panel of madness. Hey everyone, this is Dr. Gio Hu, and we're back. Um, we took a few days off, obviously, for various reasons. One, Halloween. It was an awesome Halloween, full of movie marathons. Uh, but we also had uh, fires here in California, so we had to be very vigilant and, uh, you know, make sure that we weren't in harm's way. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of things going on in, in California, actually, and just personally, uh, in my own life. There's a lot of things going on uh, moving forward, if you understand. Uh, but the most interesting thing that has happened was on Halloween. And that is when we got, finally, after more than a year of pretty much nothing, um, the BBC posted a picture of the TARDIS with its door open and the shadow of the doctor, you know, um, coming out of the TARDIS. So I'm sure everybody's seen this. This isn't, you know, news. It's been days. But that's the problem right there. So they posted that image with, you know, the words, watch this space. And so I did. And like a fool, all Halloween night, I just kept looking at my phone, thinking, okay, they're going to do something on Halloween. That's pretty cool. You know, they're going to announce something. They're going to set up a trailer. They're going to tell us when the trailer is going to come out. And it's now been days, and we still haven't seen anything. And this is just the same garbage that Chris Chibnall and his gang did when the series first came out. And I'm sorry, but again, I, I am not the kind of person that likes this kind of kind of games. You know, we did this with his first series, with series um, uh, 12. Um, and is it series 12? Oh my goodness, I've lost count already. <laughs> Uh, series 11? Sorry, Series 11. Series 12 is coming. Um, and I just wasn't a fan of it. I don't, I don't like the secretive, mystic, um, tidbits. I don't think they're working. And again, for them to do this, now again, and it, it may not be Chris Chibnall. It may just be the BBC marketing, you know, um, staff that is doing this, but I don't like it. It's really silly. I, I would prefer where, okay, watch the space you know, for updates within the next few days or something, you know, that, that kind of crypto stuff is just not working. And I'm, I'm really shocked that there hasn't been more leaked information. Well, we do have leaked uh, photos of the Cybermen, um, leaked photos of the Daleks, so we know that's for sure. Um, there's also been a, allegedly rumors of a new master that uh, apparently somebody put on their... Um, resume online, and, um, and I can't remember the name of the actor right now, but he played Wars from Sane in the um, the biopic Adventure Space and Time, and I'm trying to remember his name, and for the love of me, I can't think of it right now. Anyway, um, so that was another rumor that the Master's coming back and uh, being portrayed by him, and uh, I actually like the actors a lot, and I can't remember his name. That's really bad. Um, so... I'm just really shocked that there hasn't been more because I think this is when more and more fans are going to be out there digging up stuff so they can tell other fans. And I mean, obviously this was a big issue we had back in, uh, when the, when her new series, when uh, Jody, when the Doctor Who series was coming out, there was a lot of leaked information and they try to stop it. Unless they probably did a really good job this year, I'm, I'm shocked that there hasn't been more stuff like that. But I am, I'm, I'm just getting upset that they just don't release a trailer. And they play these games like it's fun and cute. And I think that's doing just doing more damage to this series. And I like Jody. I like her as a doctor. I just do not like Chris Chibnall. And that's my stance on that. And that's what I've told people. I like her. She's not the greatest doctor, but I think she has those doctor qualities. I think she, you know, is, is good at what she's doing. And uh, I don't mind that there's that many people in the TARDIS. I actually like multiple companions versus just the one companion. So... I'm a little torn, you know, I'm, uh, I just want to get this done. I want to know what's going on. And, um, I'm really hoping that some of the rumors that they are going to be moving on are true, at least scriptural, because 
yeah, I just don't like his style. And um, but we, at least we know that thanks to HBO Max, that was the other big news that we received sort of last week was that um, they actually have a contract now with the BBC for two more series of Doctor Who, which would be series 13 and 14, because we have um, 12 coming out now and then 13 and 14. So that's great. At least I know I'm going to have my Doctor Who fix for the next two, three, four years or however long they take to make since, you know, um, it looks like they've officially wrapped production. So now it's just a matter of starting to get things edited. So it would be great to see now an actual date for when it's going to air. You know, we have all these great shows coming out. We have in November alone, we have um, the new series of, uh, well, it's not a series, but it's the new um, War of the Worlds. Then we also have Dracula coming out as well. We have Lost in Space. We have uh, in December, we have Star Wars. So it's going to be a great holiday season. It would be nice to have some Doctor Who. You know, we do have Star Trek Picard coming out in January, which is great. Where's Doctor Who? You know, again, they're just kind of letting the fans down. And I'm really hoping that HBO is going to kind of step in here. And since they are, you know, essentially having rights to it, I don't know if they do or do not have any kind of saying all this, but I would hope that they would do something to say, hey, listen, stop screwing with the fans. Just put out dates. Stop with this, you know, check check the space here, you know, for like, what, three, four years? You know, I, I just, um, yeah, that's just my my rant. So this one's definitely a rant, not so much me, Shauna Sharon, but that's all I have now. We have some exciting news coming up, so maybe my next show will be from somewhere else. So stay tuned and be kind. <laughs> 